A robot scans a bookshelf using a hand-mounted depth sensor. If we use the forward kinematics of the robot, we should be able to integrate together all of these depth scans to produce a model. Here's what that model looks like using only the forward kinematics. It's not so good. Why is that? No robot has perfect forward kinematics. This robot suffers from non-rigid deformation in its links in response to outside influences. The worse that this deformation is, the more uncertain we are about the robot's kinematics. Sending this robot to several inverse kinematic solutions, we discover that the end effector error can be up to 5 centimeters. We can correct for this error online by using the robot's depth sensor. First, we construct a sign distance field of the scene, and we use this sign distance field to optimize the robot's join angles so its sensor measurements agree with the distance field. In this way, we're able to correct the robot's pose in real time. Here's our system, Articulated Dense Fusion, running on the robot in real time. It's reconstructing the bookshelf at a 1.5 centimeter voxelized resolution. The red lines here are the gradients of the distance field, which the robot uses to optimize its own join angles. The black robot represents the robot's join angles as given by the encoders, while the red robot corresponds to the join angles that are optimized by our system. As the robot scans the scene, it moves its join angles so that the depth sensor measurements correspond with the surface of the sign distance field, which is shown in gray. The system runs entirely on the CPU, and the model here takes up about 200 megabytes of memory. By using articulated fusion, the quality of the reconstruction is dramatically improved over forward kinematics, especially around the edges of objects. Here's what the 3D reconstruction looks like when we colorize the voxels using the camera image. In this simple 2D example, it's clear that our system of using the kinematics and an optimization procedure performs better than either using just the kinematics or just an optimization procedure to localize the sensor. You can see that our system is less prone to drift and is much better at capturing the ground truth geometry of the scene. But like all dense fusion techniques, we have trouble with loop closures.